Hey guys, I've got something for you that's going to be helpful, especially during this week. There's a special event going on for Borderlands 3. They're doing an anniversary celebration, and every week they're doing something different. And this week they are doing a rare spawn hunt. This is where most rare spawns appear more often with an increased chance to drop better loot. This event is going to run until next Tuesday, which is October the 15th. There's 14 rare boss spawns in the game, and they're all going to be dropping different stuff. But there's one boss that we're going to be focused on, and that is the Mother of Grogan's. She's going to be dropping random legendary artifacts, and for you to get this increase, you need to be on Mayhem mode or True Vault Hunter mode only, which is perfect for the trick I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. And a huge shout out to MZ Steeltoe. He messaged me about this, and he discovered it, so massive shout out to him. I'll have his YouTube channel linked down in the description. If any of you guys out there have some great tips or tricks, feel free to email me, glitchingqueen at gmail.com. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can one melee kill the mother of grogans it's a really fast farming method it's going to allow you to farm for these legendary artifacts and also there's two weapon chests in the area that she spawns in that you can also get some good legendaries from as well you can find the mother of grogans spawn on the planet eden 6 and then the map the anvil the arena that she spawns in is really close to the fast travel station and there's also a new u station that is right outside of this area here so when you're doing farming and restarting you are right there you can just just run in really quickly and the trick to farming her really quickly is to one melee kill her and you can do that with Flax character and one of his abilities if you go to the blue portion of his skill tree called master and go all the way to the bottom this one is called dominance the way this skill works is that when you melee an enemy, it turns them into an ally for a short period of time, and during the time that they're an ally, it does deplete just a little bit of their health, but certainly won't completely kill them, and after a short period of time, they turn back into an enemy. And for some reason, there might be something a little broken about this whenever you go up against the Mother of Grogan's. Normally, when you go up against an enemy and melee them with this skill activated, they will again turn into an ally, their name above their head will turn turn green and then they'll fight for you for a short period of time. As you can see right here with Borman Nate, this is one of the other rare boss spawns. The skill worked perfectly here. I meleeed him. It took a little bit of health off, but yeah, he fought for me for a few moments and then returned back to an enemy. And so far, this is the way it works with all the rare boss spawns, except for, again, the mother of Grogan's. When you go in and melee her, she does not turn into an ally. It just insta-kills her. It doesn't make any sense why it does this with her. I tried all the other 13 rare boss spawns and meleeing them and it does not insta kill any of them except for her and again this is fantastic for the event that's going on right now because she spawns into this area every single time that you restart the game i know that they said that they increase the amount that they spawn in but with her she's here every time without fail you do need to be on mayhem mode one two or three or true vault hunter for this and the frequency of the legendary artifacts that she drops is pretty good i would say about a 30 to 40 percent chance also, for me, I play on PC, and when I was offline, I was not getting her to spawn in every time, and I was not getting legendary artifacts to drop, so I needed to go online to get that benefit of her being here every single time, and then to get that high frequency of drops. It could be different for other PC players, and it could be different for PlayStation and Xbox. Also, something I noticed is that there is a weapon chest in the middle of the room and then also underneath in a tunnel. And I was getting a lot of legendaries out of these weapon chests. These respawn every single time. And even being online, I was getting them very frequently. And it was giving me some good stuff. But yeah, that's definitely going to be random. Also, if you're going for XP, if you're online, you're going to get around 9,000 XP for her. And then offline, you're going to get around 60,000 XP. So that's really good with a one melee kill. You can just come in and get that XP really rapidly. Rapidly. But again, if you're offline, she's not going to spawn in very often. Also, yesterday I had posted a video about how to really easily kill one of the vault bosses, the Rampager. And all you needed was a specific artifact because it has the ability to just absolutely wreck him. So with this farming method here, with the Mother of Grogan's, maybe that will make it easier for you guys to obtain one of those. But hopefully this will help you guys out and we'll see you next video. Like what you see?